take it. <laughs> I'm sure you'll ease it. Go ahead. All right. Now your question for tonight is, thank you so much for opening it. In your opinion, what role does outstanding sportsmanship play in both sports and everyday life? Once again, in your opinion, what role does outstanding sportsmanship play in both sports and everyday life? The role that outstanding sportsmanship does is... Oh, sorry, can I, can I just read the question again? Outstanding sportsmanship plays a role in both your everyday lives and sports. Um, to wherein we appreciate greatness and that whenever um, whenever you're faced with challenges, you can always you can always look up to Throughout the world and each other 
especially with those that we hate and love, that we, if we all connect together, we can all create a world that is united and champion a great and proud future for the Philippines and the world. Thank you. There you have it, that's Mr. San Fernando Pampanga, ladies and gentlemen. Up next, let's have Mr. Bulacan. Also excited. That's good to know. Are you ready for your question? Yeah, sure. We don't have much. That's true. Okay. All right, Mr. Bulacan, your question for tonight is: In recent months, there have been several incidents of athletes using their platform to speak out about social issues. How do you believe the core value of sensible masculinity aligns with athletes' responsibility to use their voice for positive change? Once again, in recent months, there have been several incidents of athletes using their platform to speak out about social issues. How do you believe the core value of sensible masculinity aligns with athletes' responsibility to use their voice for positive change? Thank you for that uh, wonderful question. Uh, for me, uh, not just uh, in, uh, in athlete, but in general, yung pagiging, uh, having that uh, sensible masculinity is nasa puso ng tao. Kasi naniniwala ako na if you look deep inside, uh, dun sa pagkatao or dun sa personality ng tao, magkakaroon tayo ng unity uh, may intindihan natin as long as we know how to, to support yung differences mo. Uh, and yung masculinity kasi, it shows no gender for me. And I believe na I, as an individual, I, uh, I stand for equality. Thank you. Here we have it. That's Mr. Bulacan, ladies and gentlemen. Up next, we have Mr. Quezon City. still alive, miraculously. And on that note, do you have any words for those people shouting for you? That sounds really young. <laughs> Thank you for that question. With that being said, you may now pick a question from the bull. Thank you. 
in sports, ensuring equal opportunities for athletes from all backgrounds. Once again, what are some effective ways to promote diversity and inclusion in sports, ensuring equal opportunities for athletes from all backgrounds? Hi, good evening. There are a lot of ways on how we can promote pro inclusivity and diversity. And some of which are implementation of anti-discrimination policies, promoting diverse leadership, and actively recruiting from underrepresented communities. And through this, we can lessen complexity and find beauty in diversity. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's Mr. Laguna, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. 
Thank you. That's Mr. Ologo Basili, everybody. Now let's have Mr. Bumabon. He is Patrick Leonard Mendoza. Before you open it, I just want to congratulate you for making it this far. You may now open your question. The question for you is, in the age of social media, how would you responsibly utilize these platforms to spread awareness about the issues you are most passionate about? Well, good evening, everyone. I can see myself utilizing myself as a leader because and what uh, I'm passionate about because back in my hometown I have fulfilled my advocacy to spread awareness to my fellow youth to give awareness and education about the importance of physical education because physical inactivity has been identified as the fourth leading risk factor for death globally. So I want them to inspire to have a better life and become a better person to, uh, to showcase their limitless potential. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Bumabon. Now let's have Mr. San Jose del Monte Bulacan. He is Lawrence Bego. How are you feeling tonight? Very nervous, but at the same time, excited. Your question eagerly awaits you. Okay, your question for tonight is, how would you define limitless potential and how can individuals tap into theirs? Ladies and gentlemen, when you define a limitless potential, is it starts to yourself and it starts how you think. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to tell every one of you that if no one is believing you, believe in yourself and if no one wants to invest in you, invest in yourself. And there will come a day that other person of no choice but to believe in you. That's it. Thank you. Is the significance of media literacy 
in today's information age. Once again, in your opinion, what is the significance of media literacy in today's information age? Para sa akin, ngayon, ang social media nagagamit sa mga fake news na kung saan uh, ang ating mga kabataan is uh, namulat sa mga fake news na nababasa nila sa social media. So, for me, I think kailangan natin lipitahan. Like sa ating mga magulang, tingnan natin po ang ating mga, mga anak kasi kailangan po natin silang subaybayan sa lahat po ng uh, klase ng social media na nakakasira sa kanilang pag-iisip. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much. Moving on, we will have the representative for the Filipino community of UAP. He is Rahel LZ.